Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. We have the Fool, Aries Energy. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Magician, Virgo Gemini Energy. And we have the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Energy. Capricorn, I kind of get this energy here where we're dealing with somebody that had a lot of options. Could be you, Capricorn. Could be your person. Okay. Um, and I feel like someone here fell in love. You know, I feel like someone here, um, you know, took that leap of faith, gave their heart with the magician and the king of cups here. Um, somebody... You know, somebody uh, is working on someone's heartstrings type of deal. We've got the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. We've got the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. Someone here did not want to fall in love. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So it's going to shock someone here because they're like, wait a minute, how did that happen? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did that happen? Um, you know, many, you know, someone here has managed to do what many have not been able to do before. And I feel that with the Page of Cups and the Two of Cups, someone's going to be hearing, I love you soon. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are about to start a whole life with this person. Maybe move in together. But someone here is leaving all this crap behind and moving towards a new beginning here. King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Six of Cups. This could be a past life soulmate. Um, could be an ex, but I don't really feel that. Four of Swords. And the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Three of Pentacles. And the Star, Aquarian, Energy. So Capricorn, what I'm feeling here is there's a situation from the past. Could be childhood, could be an ex, okay? And what happened here is, is there was so much pain caused here. Now, Capricorn, if this isn't your story, this may be what your person's going through. But someone here has something going on from their past, whether it's with an ex or from childhood, maybe even parents or family issues, okay? Someone may have a messed up family. But I feel like someone here is healing from that and stepping into their own power. Stepping, you know, someone here is growing out of that pain, healing, uh, raising their, their power spiritually here, stepping into their divine master masculine or feminine, okay? Three of Pentacles in the star. Someone here is ready to really put the work in to go towards what they want. Wheel of Fortune here. Yes, someone's prayers are being answered. Someone manifested maybe. Um, maybe someone here was non-committal or, you know, just was trying to avoid relationships and love because of these childhood issues or because of this ex or whatever happened here, okay? Um, but I feel like someone here is moving on from that. Someone here is healing, recovering, and moving on from that. Somebody speaks to someone in a lo very loving manner, a very healing manner. We have the star again. Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so there's been a lot of people who have wanted this person. Could be you, Capricorn. Could be the other person. There's a lot of people that wanted to tie someone down here, and it never worked. The Fool card with the Unknown and the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Someone here was very good at protecting their heart, guarding themselves, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, against people, and unknowingly, they fell in love. The Magician and the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like someone here was very good at disappearing. 
someone here was very good at getting what they wanted and then just taking off do you see what i'm saying and again childhood trauma or trauma with an ex there was some type of past trauma here that happened with this person the tower and the five of wands the nine of wands and the six of swords yeah a fight would break out you know a lot of jealousy a lot of strife a lot of drama and someone would walk away two of cups and the knight of cups page of cups and the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre-empress energy now here comes this pre-empress energy so we've got the emperor to the pre-empress here with this love this this amazing certain type of love <laughs> you know what i'm saying and someone gets completely blindsided and falls in love it's going to be the title to this video six of swords and the page of cups ace of wands and the tower before you know it okay someone's going to find themselves making plans saying that i love you let's move in let's start a life together um four of wands someone here has met their divinely guided soulmate and it's going to shock someone the tower the tower someone's going to be like whoa <laughs> you know what i'm saying king of pentacles and the ten of swords the six of cups and the knight of swords um someone here may have divorced parents or someone here may have had they, they had some pain that happened in the past because Six of Cups is the past. The Knight of Swords is someone reckless, someone impulsive. Uh, maybe someone here even called the cops on someone at one point in time. Backstabbed, betrayed. There was a, someone here had a very, very bad experience in their past. Four of Swords and the Empress, but they're healing. This Empress, this Emperor is healing to be with their Empress. Emperor and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so... Yeah, Two of Pentacles and the Chariot. This Emperor has to make a decision on what do they want to do. Do they want to continue living this lifestyle where emotionally they don't connect to anyone because they're living in fear? Or do they want to fix themselves to go be with this Empress? And I feel like they're going to choose to fix themselves. Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, the Star and the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean Energy. So we have someone listening to their higher guides here. We have someone starting their spiritual journey. Someone's being divinely guided someone here actually is starting to see and believe in a future how amazing is that yeah so someone here was just kind of like living the fast life you know what i'm saying for a long time and then out of nowhere someone just gets blindsided and falls in love and they're still sitting there right now as we speak how in the hell did this person tie my ass down like this <laughs> Like someone is still confused as to how they're in a relationship, which is kind of cute. Um, joy is fun, great gratitude, victim mentality, and happy success. So I feel like someone here has a lot of fun with you. Someone really appreciates you. Like you have a really great time with this person. We've got victim mentality and happy success. I feel like someone here has been hurt. Someone here has been a victim of something for a long time, but we've got these beautiful, beautiful cards here. Happy success, gratitude, fun, and I, it trumps the pain. Do you see what I'm saying? It trumps what this person has been through. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing to be had. We've got the thinking man, goddess of the moon, and deceit. You see, someone here is very in their head that there's secrets, that there's illusions, that someone's going to hurt them. Um, someone here has a fear of being hurt the way they were in the past, okay? I don't feel that that's going to happen. Finances and career, playfulness and engagement, okay? Um, I feel like someone here maybe feels like someone is putting in the work uh but they're being a player maybe but this person's really in it for commitment or i feel like someone here puts a lot of work into having a good time like someone here puts a lot of work into making somebody laugh or taking someone out making sure that they're always relaxed this is leading to higher levels of commitment it is leading to higher levels of commitment and someone here puts a lot of work in. Oh, sorry, guys. Someone here puts a lot of work in to show the other person that they care. So this is really, really beautiful Capricorn. Okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.